Hi, welcome back. In the previous two videos, we dealt with the topics Laplace transform of unit step function and Dirac delta function. In this video, we'll go through the Laplace transform of periodic functions. So happy learning and don't forget to like, share, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. Laplace transform of periodic functions. First of all, let's see what is meant by a periodic function. A function f of t is said to be a periodic function of period p greater than 0 if it satisfies this condition. What is the condition? f of t plus p is equal to f of t. This means that such a function repeats its value in regular intervals or regular periods. Look at this. This is a sinusoidal function of sine wave. You can see that this function repeats itself in regular intervals or regular periods. You can uh, denote the intervals using t or p. And such a function is known as periodic function. And we all know that for the Laplace transform to exist, the function must be piecewise continuous and of exponential order. I have explained this in the first video on Laplace transforms. So you can watch that video in order to clarify your doubts. I will also provide the link in the description of this video. So Laplace transform of a function is given by integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dt, right? Now what we can do is that we can split this integral from 0 to infinity as series of integrals over successive periods 0p, p 2p, 2p, 3p, 3p, 4p, etc. So, Laplace of f of t, which is equal to integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dt becomes equal to integral 0 to p e raised to minus st f of t dt plus integral p to 2p e raised to minus st f of t dt plus integral 2p to 3p e raised to minus st f of t dt plus etc. Right? Now, let us substitute this t in the first integral with u t in the second integral with u plus p, t in the third integral with u plus 2p and so on, so that in the nth integral, we will be substituting t with u plus n minus 1p. Now, why do we do this substitution? This is done in order to make the limit in every integral from 0 to p. Now, see here in the first integral, the limit is already from 0 to p. Now, in the second integral, will be substituting t with u plus p, right? So, u will be equal to t minus p. Now, we will have to convert this limit in terms of the variable u. So, we have u equal to t minus p. Now, when t equal to p, we will have u equal to p minus p which is equal to 0. And when t equal to 2p, we will have u equal to 2p minus p which is equal to p. Now, this integral will get converted to integral from 0 to now, consider this integral. Here in the third integral, we will be substituting t with u plus 2p. So, that u equal to t minus 2p. Now, when t equal to 2p, we will have u equal to 2p minus 2p which is equal to 0. And when t equal to 3p, we will have u equal to 3p minus 2p which is equal to p. Now, here also the limit got converted to 0 to p, right? Likewise, in the other integrals also, the limit will get converted to 0 to p. So, now the new limits in every integral are 0 and p. Now, we have converted the function in terms of the variable u, right? Since f of u is a periodic function, we know that f of u plus p equal to f of u, f of u plus 2p equal to f of u, f of u plus 3p is also equal to f of u. Similarly, f of u plus n minus 1p will also be equal to f of u. Now, Laplace of f of t is equal to integral 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t dt, which is equal to integral 0 to p e raised to minus su f of u du, because we have substituted t with u in the first integral plus integral 0 to p e raised to minus s into u plus p f of u du. Here in the second integral, we have substituted t with u plus p. 
Now this function will be f of u plus p, right? But we know that f of u plus p equal to f of u. So we can directly write f of u here plus integral 0 to p e raised to minus s into u plus 2p f of u plus 2p du. Since f of u plus 2p is also equal to f of u, we can write f of u here plus etc. Therefore, Laplace of f of t is equal to integral 0 to p e raised to minus su f of u du plus integral 0 to p. Now, we can split this and write it as e raised to minus su into e raised to minus sp f of u du plus integral 0 to p e raised to minus su into e raised to minus 2 sp f of u du plus etc. Now in the second integral this factor e raised to minus sp is independent of u. In the third integral e raised to minus 2 sp is independent of u. Likewise in the last integral e raised to minus n minus 1 sp will be independent of u. So we can take all those uh, factors independent of u outside. So that Laplace of f of t is equal to 1 plus e raised to minus sp plus e raised to minus 2 sp plus e raised to minus 3 sp plus etc. Integral 0 to p e raised to minus su f of u du right. Now we have 1 minus x raised to minus 1 which is equal to 1 by 1 minus x equal to 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube plus etc. See, this is the expansion of 1 minus x raised to minus 1. Now, look here. It's 1 plus e raised to minus sp plus e raised to minus 2 sp plus e raised to minus 3 sp plus etc. Now, if we um, consider x as e raised to minus sp, this is of the format 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube plus etc. Right. So, this will be the expansion of 1 minus e raised to minus sp raised to minus 1. We can write that as 1 by 1 minus e raised to minus sp. So, Laplace of f of t is equal to 1 by 1 minus e raised to minus sp integral 0 to p e raised to minus st f of t dt. So, this is the Laplace transform of periodic function. A periodic function f of t with period 2 pi is given by f of t equal to sin t when 0 less than t less than pi and f of t equal to 0 when pi less than t less than 2 pi. Now, let us find out the Laplace transform of this function. Laplace transform of a periodic function is given by 1 by 1 minus e raised to minus sp integral 0 to p e raised to minus st f of t dt, right? Here we have p equal to 2 pi. Therefore, Laplace of f of t equal to 1 by 1 minus e raised to minus 2 pi s into, now we will split this integral between the limits 0 to pi and pi to 2 pi. Therefore, integral 0 to pi e raised to minus st sin t dt because f of t equal to sin t between the limit 0 to pi plus integral pi to 2 pi e raised to minus st into 0 dt because f of t equal to 0 between the limits pi to 2 pi. Now, this is 0. Therefore, Laplace of f of t equal to 1 by 1 minus e raised to minus 2 pi s integral 0 to pi e raised to minus st sin t dt. We know that integral e raised to ax sin bx dx equal to e raised to ax by a square plus b square into a sin bx minus b cos bx. Now, comparing these two, we will get a equal to minus s and b equal to 1. Therefore, Laplace of f of t equal to 1 by 1 minus e raised to minus 2 pi s into e raised to minus st by a square plus 1 square. 1 square is 1 into minus s sin t minus 1 into cos t within the limits 0 to pi which is equal to 1 by 1 minus e raised to minus 2 pi s into now we will apply the limits therefore e raised to minus pi s by s square plus 1 into minus s sin pi minus cos pi minus e raised to 0 by s square plus 1 into 0 minus cos 0 
Therefore, this becomes equal to 1 by 1 minus e raised to minus 2 pi s into e raised to minus pi s by s square plus 1 into minus s sin pi. Sin pi is 0. Therefore, this term becomes equal to 0. Now, we have minus cos pi. Cos pi is minus 1. So, minus of minus 1. Minus e raised to 0 is 1. Therefore, 1 by s square plus 1 into minus cos 0. Cos 0 is 1. So, minus 1. Now, 1 by 1 minus e raised to minus 2 pi s into, here we have minus of minus 1. So, plus e raised to minus pi s by s square plus 1. Here also we have minus of minus 1. So, plus 1 by s square plus 1. Therefore, this becomes equal to e raised to minus pi s plus 1 by s square plus 1, which is equal to 1 plus e raised to minus pi s by 1 plus e raised to minus pi s into 1 minus e raised to minus pi s into s square plus 1. Now, how did I get this? See here, here we have 1 minus e raised to minus 2 pi s, right? Now, this is of the form a square minus b square with a equal to 1 and b equal to e raised to minus pi s. So, we can write it as a plus b into a minus b. That is 1 plus e raised to minus pi s into 1 minus e raised to minus pi s. That's what I have written here. Now, I can cancel out these two terms. So, Laplace of f of t equal to 1 by 1 minus e raised to minus pi s into s square plus 1. Please do like and share the video and subscribe the channel. Thank you.